Let me just give you uh, some preliminary, very preliminary information. About 10.05 this morning, uh, our police uh, become aware of a pursuit from Camden Police Department of a marked vehicle that is stolen. At some point, I think it's around 10.05, 7th and Norris Streets, our officers uh, join that pursuit. Uh, that car is chased for several blocks. At some point in time, we do decide to terminate the pursuit for safety of the uh, citizens in the area. Uh, this car travels several blocks, strikes at least three vehicles unattended, we believe, and uh, ends up here in 1100 block of Hope, uh, where a female is apprehended. Now, what we understand thus far, and you'll have to get a lot of this from Camden, is that they're making an arrest of two individuals over there. And uh, in the course of doing so, a female breaks loose with a suspect in the rear of that uh, marked vehicle. And they come over here, and uh, during the course of a struggle early on in the pursuit is when she's able to uh, get in one of our vehicles. So we're in Fishtown. The streets are about 25 feet wide here. There's cars parked on both sides. Talk to us a little bit how, about how dangerous this was and how it could have ended differently. Well, that was a concern. I believe it was Deputy Wright standing behind me, the tall gentleman who uh, terminated the pursuit. For those reasons, uh, the police officers uh, involved used a tremendous amount of restraint, as you could see. And they did a great job under the circumstances, but you're talking about some very reckless individuals. I mean, I've never heard of anybody stealing two police cars in the same incident.